Can you see me, David? I'm setting up on the hope that the fog is going to clear. Who has the advantage on a day like today? Crow or pigeon? I'm going to get back down to the gym, hopefully next week. On arrival on the farm, the fog is thick, but the forecast says things will clear by late morning. Thankfully, we are not just here for a lesson in shooting. We're here for a lesson in maths. With so many keen students stuck at home, we thought we'd employ the pigeon shooter's equivalent of Carol Vorderman or Rachel Riley to set some maths questions. And we want to see your workings. It's definitely clearing. What did you get in maths at uh, O level? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Is that the right answer, sir? I don't know. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> It's not my favourite, but I've always got a calculator in my pocket. So if the old numbers get a bit too much, you know what us farmers like, we, we've got to get it right. <laughs> so we've got to get the old figures about right. So, but no. Let's move on. Let's move on quickly, yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, if you look down here, David, there you've got to cut the bits of wheat. It's a bit rough here, it's always wet here, so it hasn't gone in all that well, but no, it went in a little bit rough. But the pigeons are out on it, just just pulling it up as it's coming through. It was a maze stubble, so there's a, a little bit of maze here in places. They just about cleared that up now, but the crows are here and they're starting to dig it up. So um, farm managers asked me to come out here and have a go. Not an ideal day, no wind. And the fact is, you're you're doing a job. You're doing within lockdown now. You're doing pest that's control. right. Yeah. And also, yeah. With the, if you were stock crow, you've got I've got a letter from the landowner. Uh, I've got my shotgun, my firearm stick it, I've got the whole lot with me. Yeah, you've got to do your job for the for the filming. I've got to do my job to kick the pigeons and the crows off. And there's only one good crow and that's a dead one, so well, not, a, not me though. Not me, not me. <laughs> Back to learning in lockdown and once we finish shooting we're going to set you some maths questions. That's just how much fun we are. We want to calculate how much it costs Andy to keep a pigeon fed on his farm. Now we won't be taking the hooligan element of the woody into account. When it nibbles, shoots, pecks, buds, bends, stalks and sets off seed pod explosions. These all undermine the productivity of the crop, but are difficult to quantify. A bit like today's efforts. I want to hear about you at school. <laughs> yeah, well. I love, loved it. Did you sit in the exams? Yeah, I did. Don't laugh, David. Of course I bloody did. I wouldn't be a successful farmer if I hadn't, would I? <laughs> well, what I'm balancing here is the fact that academics is one thing, but actually vocational, practical stuff is another. Well, put it on this. I was good at cookery at school. I was good at woodwork. I was good at metalwork. I was good at sports. English was all right. History was... Mm. Oh, yeah. We're going to talk about maths today, though. It, it, it is not my strongest subject, I will give it that. But you've got to be so on it with all the sort of dilutions and... Oh yeah. Yeah, but that's... That's practical, but it's still maths. Yeah, you look at a spray can or a fertiliser sheet and it's, it's, it's in me. I just look at it and it's just second nature. I don't... It just... The figures just tick over in my head. So if you'd had exam questions that involve fertiliser... If, <laughs> if, if I had... If I had somebody, if I sat me maths exam now, I'd be a lot better than I was when I did my maths exam. Because you see the practical application. Yeah. Crow does get some shooting, but he is really just a foghorn, warning the pigeons of disaster if yeah. they decide to yeah. come too close. Andy may be getting some, but David needs to stay behind for extra tutoring after today's efforts. Oh! <laughs> it's clear beautifully, isn't it? It's clear lovely, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just sort of like, hmm, never mind. Yeah. One of those days, David. So the weatherman was wrong. Andy decides to pack up just as the sun appears, but the best of the shooting would have been an hour ago. 
He puts away his F-16 and transforms into Mr. Crow, the maths scholar. Now, class, pay attention. Mr. Crow will give you the numbers and we will set the questions using the information he provides. First up, look at how much they can stuff in there. That's about what a pigeon holds its crop. That's being generous as well. They, they probably hold more than that. But in the summer when they're feeding, they, they do a crop in the morning and then do a crop in the afternoon. So you're looking at two of them, at least two of them, if not more, a day. Let's put that in there. 23 grams of wheat in a pigeon. Twice a day. Okay, Mr. Crow, so how much is wheat at the moment? Wheat at the moment, I've just sold some uh, this week and we sold that for 220 pounds a ton and it's still going up at the minute. That's a metric ton, so it's a thousand kilograms? Yep, yep, thousand kilos. So I'll just weigh that out. And bear in mind in the summer when the pigeons are feeding on peas, they'll be out on those at five o'clock in the morning, get a crop full and then go and digest those and then go back for another crop in the afternoon. But it's not what what's in there, what's in their crop, it's what's on the ground. If you get a big number of pigeons out there, as soon as they touch the pods, they just twist and open, the peas all fall out. And if they don't, and they open a pod, as soon as they open that pod, it'll twist. They get the pea they want, and then the rest are just dropped down through the crop onto the floor, and they can't get to them anyway. So, well, what's the price of peas? Price of peas that's not that good at the moment. Uh, that's about 240 per ton at the minute. It's a bit disappointing. That's why they're still in the shed. That's been a bit generous as well. To what a pigeon can get in its crop. It's exactly the same as with the peas. If a pigeon's landing on an unharvested rape, shooting people would know as soon as you touch a, a pop when it's dry, they just, they just shatter. So they land down to pick rape seed out of the pod. They open one pod, there'd be probably 20 seeds fall, fall out. And it's, plus it's the other pods that they land on to get open that pod, so. Okay, so what about length of time on a particular crop then, Crow? Say three weeks that the rape's vulnerable to pigeons on the seed, once it's been harvested they're just feeding on the seed that's on the floor which is gone anyway so it's not such a problem. It's the damage they do on the plant while it's producing the seed. Okay. The wheat's a bit longer, as soon as the uh, wheat goes into a milky stage, um, it comes into here and then it goes into the milky stage, then they start attacking it. Depends on the year, you're looking six weeks, so they'll be attacking that wheat for at least six weeks before you harvest it. Okay. Six to eight, six to eight weeks. They'd be they'd be on that before you harvest it. Okay. The peas is it's a bit longer because as soon as they start podding up, pods start getting green. They start to open them, um, so they'd be on those. Yeah, I suppose it probably would be about six six weeks again. See, so they've taken the the flowering head out of there. It's gone. The flowering head's there. But it's the damage they do on the crops while it's producing the ears, while it's producing the rape seed, while it's producing the pods you start working out how much a tonne's worth and how much a pigeon's eating and how much, how many pigeons you've had on a field for two to three weeks and you think, Christ, they've eaten a lot of corn, that's a lot of profit. On the screen is a summary of the information for wheat and the first of four questions. For all of the questions, have a look in the description below. One pigeon eats 46 grams a day for six weeks. The price of wheat is £220 a tonne. A tonne is, yep, well done at the front, a thousand kilograms. Question one. How much grain in kilograms does this pigeon eat in A, one week, B, two weeks, C, six weeks? If you want to do more, repeat the above, but substitute wheat for the following. Peas. One pigeon eats 50 grams a day for six weeks. The price of peas is £240 a tonne. Rapeseed. One pigeon eats 50 grams a day for three weeks. The price of rapeseed is £400 a tonne with bonus. It's an oil thing. Thank you, Mr Crow. Every day is a school day, but that doesn't mean you need to be in school to learn. Tell your parents you're going pigeon shooting and it's important.